Fala galera, eu sou a Zile, astuto como um rival, capaz de superar qualquer desafio. I should be able to easily get. And again, I'm just gonna taunt there. There's no reason for me not to go for taunt. If Rodham comes in, we just click protect again. And we're gonna spike up there. Yo, what's up guys? AOC Adinho here and welcome to a new video. Eu não falo português, mas você pode ligar as legendas para assistir. You guys know it, turn on the subtitles if you are speaking Portuguese. You can do this, you can do this for Spanish as well. Um, anyhow guys, um, last time we were using this team. Actually, don't have this shit open. <laughs> uh, there. We were using this team and yeah, we went 3-0. So let's see how we're going to do in this video. Um, if you guys are interested in the team, by the way, you can check it out on Patreon. There's a poker paste plus team building video on his team. You can also check out my Patreon for uh, team building support if you need help with team building or if you want to improve your PvP skills by joining my PvP courses uh, as I do one on one coaching sessions and yeah, help you guys become a solid PvP player. Check it out, guys. It's all on Patreon. And yeah, uh, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. It helps out a lot. We are on our way to 5,000 subscribers, just hitting 4,000 already. So yeah, things are looking good, good, good. It's going to be the goal for this year as well. 5,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, I think in other sem, you guys are waiting for the battle. So like I always say, guys, vamos batalhar. <laughs> What are we facing today? Are we facing here? Okay. That yeah, wheezing is definitely going to be annoying though. Because um, I'm using my Protect Life Square and then uh, re re regenerate this. And so um, these abilities are going to be completely useless. However, I'm still going to go into Glass Square. Um, I taunt Skarmory, so Skarmory doesn't get hazards. I protect against Rodom. I get up spikes against his um, Garchomp. And I think this game we are going to rely on our hazards to actually do the damage for us. He, he leads up with the guard jump, which is fine. Uh, this might be a stall rocker, and then um, the Skarmory might be the spike setter. So I'm actually gonna keep spiking here. I'm faster than him, so this is tank jump. So is this gonna be Tyranitar stall? That's completely fine though. Getting up my spikes, I'm taunting this. Getting up more spikes. Taunting again, in case he wants to go run him. He actually goes wheezing, so I, I take some damage there, but that's completely fine. I'm gonna take some damage here. Three turns of poison, how much is that? Quite a bit, quite a bit. Bring in the Jellicent there. Not sure, not sure if he's gonna swap there. We'll see. The flamethrowers. I'm gonna click Toxic on this turn since he's taunted. He doesn't do any shit. He doesn't do anything to me. So in case he goes Rotom, I can go for the Toxic and uh, really mess mess him up. If he goes Heart Skarmory, that's a bit annoying. Exactly. Let's see if he gets Leftovers. He doesn't get Leftovers, so this might be Trick. Okay. This might be Trick Rotom. I'll make this play then. Yep, so that's Trick Rotom. A Choice Scarf is actually not bad in the sense that um, I I don't really need the Assault Fest against him.
Let me just close combat there. Because if he dies, he doesn't get defug or something. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Holy crap. That guy's offensive as hell. And he misses his Hydra pump. That sucks, bro. That's... That really sucks. I wouldn't die, but that really sucks for him. Because I would have been low. He could have gone wheezing to prevent my regenerator. So that really sucks for him. I just, I just go hard glide square. Like, the, sp the, the spikes are not super necessary for me. But I can just taunt him here. And we already know it's a defensive guard jump. And I think he's going to com get completely shut down by this man. The Renatar comes in. It's most likely going to be... Like, I was thinking about Earthquaking there. I really was. But, yeah, he doesn't have an Ice-type resist. So, whenever I... The moment I get, get in Weavile, it's going to not look... It's not going to look good for him. I'm just, I can just make this play. And now I can just freely Scald against him as well. Because... Uh, um, I'm faster than Chansey. So I can taunt Chansey. He goes for Sludge Bomb. Ideally he doesn't poison. But you know it always happens. <laughs> and I can just go for the Scald now. Pretty freely. Like I said. Doesn't, doesn't really matter. He actually decides to, to stay in with Weezing. Which... I am completely fine with. He's looking for that poison. Oh, we're off. I'm going to keep scalding, bro. I want to keep him nice and low. He's going to swap here. Goes into Chansey. See how much work the spikes will put in there. And I can easily just taunt him. He doesn't have anything to touch me with. Plus now his uh, wheezing is close into earthquake range. Just need a bit more. And I can just freely uh, scald there in case Skarmory comes in. Serenitar is fine too. And I burn him. That was what we were aiming for. And that looks like an offensive tar. Yeah, and with that burn, I could just stay in and click recover pretty freely. Crunch at 34, aka did zero. <clears throat> and I think his team is just gonna lose to my Jellicent. I won't make the Skarma replay though. Like I said, I do want rocks up and my opponent decides to forfeit. That's a really interesting stall team he has with the Tyranitar, but yeah, once that that wasn't that Rotom was way too frail to actually uh pose to fit on that team. But yeah, like I said, if the Hydro Pump hit, um could have been annoying, but that wasn't that wasn't a choice Banditar. I think that was Scarf Tar. Because his damage was way too low. 34. If he was banned, he would have killed I think he would kill me. I can call that shit, but I'm pretty sure Bandit Serenitar kills me. I think it was Scarftar. Which means my Skarmory will completely wall him as well. In which in case I don't need my Mian Shot that much. And I have taunt. I've double taunt on uh, I've taunt Skarmory and Jellicent. So, that chance he never really gets to do much against me. Especially with all those hazards up. Because it, it would just... With the Rotom gone, it would just be, be me switching between <laughs> Gliasquare and Jellicent and uh, messing him up. After I get up Rocks, especially with Skarmory. Because he doesn't do anything to Skarm either. Okay, let's see what we face this time. Closing in on that 700, you know? <laughs> let's see. Ooh, that's a really interesting theme he has. Alakazam, Fortress, Electivire. That's something you see much. Um, Fortress is actually a really strong Weavile counter. Like, he resists all my attacks. Literally all my attacks. <laughs> Being a full Steel type. And, yeah. 
I'm not sure. Uh, we can use Jellicent to spin block, I guess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead off with Clyde Square in this one. Thor. Oh, shit. The Electivire doesn't have anything to set up with, so I'm actually going to protect there. And maybe he's going to go for the Ice Punch. He's actually faster than me if he runs max speed, so definitely be a bit careful there. Oh, looking at my team, I actually don't switch into this guy at all. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Okay. Does this guy have something like Ice Beam? I should not die to anything though. Unless he runs like Choice Band shit. But those spikes are gonna go a long way. Okay. I respect you, bro. I respect you. That's crazy, bro. Let me, uh... Let me go Jelly here. <laughs> what the heck? No! He's doing it to me, guys. The bulk of Swampert. The bulk up swamp is doing it to me. I do have superior in the back, so like I always kill this guy. So that is gonna hurt. Oh man, that did way too much, bro. Let me go, Skarmir. I have I have stuff that can revenge kill uh Electivire, so I'm not too worried. But I am going for the stealth rock here. I want to keep Jellicent alive, uh just because it's it's spin blocks. Um Yeah, let me just stealth rock here. No, oh, this is not that's not gonna do anything, brother. Roost there. As he goes fortress, and like I said, I do have a, I do have a fort, I do have a um, jellicent which spin blocks for me. Even though it's really low, I needed the toxic on the swamp part, because I wasn't sure what kind of set he was. But the moment he shot Bilk up, I couldn't really switch there. Uh, best thing he can do is volt switch against me, but volt switch still means that he's gonna take damage, and I don't take too much damage from it anyway. See, my opponent tries to rapid spin. Do I taunt here? I'm gonna do it. I wanna know if he has Volt Switch, but I don't want him getting up hazards for free. Like, I'm pretty healthy here, 40%. And he goes Blissey, which is amazing, because now I can recover. And next time I can go hard into my uh, Jellicent again. And if I actually have Skarmory and Jellison at a full HP, I'm pretty sure Electivire cannot kill me. Come on, Pedro. Was his Fortress leftovers? He was. Okay. I'm not sure what kind of Gliscor we're facing here. I'm not sure if Blissey has Ice Beam, so a lot of uncertainties, but he decides to go into Swamp right there. And this time, it's not going to work. Because I'm just going to taunt him. He doesn't get to bulk up. And then we just beat him. He should he should build up earthquakes now and he doesn't get he gets cursed body that earthquake unboosted it a lot man get the cursed body on him and we're gonna scald from here because i don't want to give him a free switch into anything and if he goes into blissey again it's gonna suck for him he goes into electivire so that's pretty awesome Because I kid you not, guys, that guy is the biggest threat to my team. <laughs> I'm not too worried about Alakazam too much. Um, if he has Size Shock, it can be annoying for me and Chow, but I literally have a Weavile. Yeah, let's go Heart Serp. 
Oh, this guy's a legend. What a legend play. What a legend play. Let me leave Storm here. No! Oh, this is not good, bro. I'm not sure if he's scarfed. <laughs> okay, let, he's not gonna kill this. He's not gonna kill this, so... <laughs> God damn, bro. <laughs> I hate I hate clicking leaf storm because that shit always happens, man. Okay, goes into glide score. I'm sure if I'm faster here. Uh, I'm just gonna knock off here. The toxic orb. He clicks toxic. Beautiful, and now I can go into my own uh, glide score. It's not really. It's not really bad if I get. That I get poisoned here. I can U-turn. He doesn't have the Toxic Orb. And this U-turn is going to be beautiful. Especially if he switches. But I always have Jellicent. So he can never spin block. And yeah, this is... This is kind of the idea of the team, guys. Like, get up my hazards. Spin block with Jelly. Because even though I don't touch him... I love Taunt here though. I don't I don't think I have a downside of Taunting because he can be Daldrug himself. He can be okay. This extra layer is not gonna make a difference anyway. And by taunting him here, that means he cannot set up his Daldrug or something. And I can freely go into Jellicent. If he Volt switches, um he's gonna <laughs> he just took free damage. I don't take too much damage anyway. And he tries to rapid spin again. Yeah, it's, not, it's never gonna work. So we're gonna scold. Blissey can come in, but like I said, I have these hazards working for me, guys. And this is why we need heavy duty boots in this game. Can I get a burn too? Nope. We cannot get a burn. But that's fine. Like, Blissey's already at half HP. I don't know if this is Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, whatever. This is his Stealth Rocker. Okay, interesting. I can go into my Glide Square here. Alakazam comes in. Well, Earthquake should uh, pretty much knock him out, right? Seven, at 75, like it's one of the most frail Pokemon in the game. One of my favorite. Yeah, especially after the Life Orb hit, he should definitely die. Fortress comes in again. Let me just uh, protect one stage P on this guy. Doesn't really matter. With the protect, he cannot rapid spin for free. He tries to use Toxic. Okay. That's annoying. So he actually had Toxic on this. Not a big deal, though. It's really not a big deal. Toxic, Rapid Spin. What else does he have for me? Paint Split? Crit Burn? Damn, bro. And he uses Spikes. Okay, he gets up one layer of Spikes. But, yeah. He's basically dead there. So, I'll take it. And if I had superior here, <laughs> I would win the game. <laughs> That's fine. I don't think his Gliscor does anything to me. Plus, 
everything is gonna die to Weavile at this point. So let me just scout this too. And I'll taunt it, the, uh, the Blissey anyway. Because once I got the Blissey in range of Weavile, it's over for him. It's already over, but... <clears throat> as long as he doesn't get to heal. We literally just taunt here. Don't let him heal. I'm gonna die to whatever. Press the soft boil. And the safest play would be to go me and Shao here, I think. Or do I knock him out with two hit hits from Weavile? That would be uh, quite cool. I knock him out with two hits from Weavile. Hmm, no, it has to be three hits. Uh, we're gonna make this play. The moment he switches out, he will be in a range of two hit Weavile. Him making this play is completely fine too, because I can just U-turn into my own glide score. If he for some reason is able to kill me, I can literally go into my Weavile, so he uses Protect. Cool. He doesn't have recovery. But he should have protected when I he, I had my hit show in versus him, but uh he decided to go for the toxic there. Means I just go into this. Maybe he's facade in this. Maybe a sword stance. But I'll just spike against this. Actually, I can just taunt here. X scissor, damn, bro. Let me get up a few spikes. Like the Blissey doesn't get to heal. <laughs> and then we're just gonna secure this game. The funny thing, you cannot even kill me, bro. And he decides to forfeit, so. Uh, 10 wins in a row. That's what I'd like to see. That's what I'd like to see. Let's see if we can get in another one. Um, 690. 690. Okay, let's see. What are we facing here? Looks like another stall team. Interesting. Um, so, yeah. What I really need to prioritize is just getting the shit off with my, uh, glide score. And if this is Trick Rotom, I got pretty comp... I'm pretty confident that my Gliscor plus Jellicent will destroy his team once his Rotom is dead. So I'm just gonna protect here. Tries to Hydro me, which is fine. And I want to find out if he's choice. So we're gonna go into this. I'm not gonna stay in because if he's actually choice or something, and that's gonna hurt a lot. He hydros me. Let's see how much? Let's see how much he does. Doesn't do too much. I'm gonna knock off here. Those are two Hydros, by the way. If he doesn't Volt Switch here, then he might be choiced. Uh, but we cannot uh, be certain there. However, getting this knockoff quite amazingly. Getting rid of the Black Sludge, so... This becomes quite free. And the funny thing here is I don't even need my uh, Skarmory against this team, so I can actually use it to Stealth Rug. <laughs> Because his physical attacker is Garchomp. And I don't get to it KO'd by Flamethrower, so there's literally no reason for me to play carefully with my Skarmory. So I'm just going to stall Rock here. He goes into his Garchomp. Not sure what kind of Garchomp this is, so I'm just going to go into my... Uh, into my Gliscor here. Nice. 
as he goes for a rock, so it's just rocks jump. Which should be fine. Like I said. It's gonna spike air. Most likely run him coming in. You actually go Skarmory, but I have Taunt. I guess that Taunt Skarmory. A Taunt Gliscar does so well into into stall. Um obviously I'm using spikes here, so don't get to do too much there. And yeah, I want to find out if this guy has uh, a defog on his Rotom because he's using max he he's using a max hazard steam. So if he doesn't have defog, I'm just gonna lay down all my hazards, and the only one that can stop me is Rotom on his team. The only one that stops my glass was Rotom. maybe Jellison too, a Jellison actually as well. But that's why we're going for the max hazards. And let's see if he's leftovers, because he didn't Volt Switch against my Rotom. So I'm not sure. Like I said, I can always just protect there. Yeah, he doesn't get doesn't get lefty, so uh let's see. Are you are you choiced? Hydro pumps. That's fine. Go hard me and shell here. And I'm actually then I'm actually gonna I can U-turn on that turn too. Okay, so he goes Skarmory now. Makes a nice little double there. Maybe I should have gone Jellicent instead. Um, looking back at this. But I'm still I'm still getting my recovery, so in that sense, um, it's not it's not even it's not even bad for me. Um I can force a recovery here by close combat because if he's if he's actually not gonna swap, and he's gonna be extremely low. If he's gonna brave here, he's gonna be extremely lower. Now we just U-turn. And then my glide score. So he's gonna go for the max hazards, but like I said, guys. I'm thinking with, with Max Hazards up, I should win, especially if I get rid of the Rotom, which I should be able to easily get. And again, I'm just going to taunt there. There's no reason for me not to go for taunt. If Rotom comes in, we just click Protect again. And we're going to Spike up there. Because I think my, I don't necessarily need my Weavile this game. Like, I feel like Gliscor just beats his team once um, the Rotom oh, actually goes into Weezing. Insane. That's insane. I don't, I'm not sure if he has Protect on this. Um, I don't think there's a reason I should lose HP. Or just go Jelly. Maybe I should have gone Skarm. Uh, jelly overall, not a bad positioning for me. And he goes for Protect. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm just going to throw for Skull there. Pretty free, I think. I think that's pretty free. I could I could Taunt as well, but uh, if he goes run him, I want damage on him. Damage is what we need against him. Goes Chansey. Oh, that's awesome. Because I have Taunt in this guy. Because he's he's not getting to heal anything here. What I can even do is click Toxic here. Because if he goes Rotom on my Switch or Jellicent, that's, that's like the best case scenario. If he goes into Skarmory, he gets up a spike, okay? Not like Jellicent. Oh. Okay. Fine. Uh, then we're just going to click Skull there. I mean, he's going to go into one of his Poison Resists. Chansey doesn't do anything to me. <laughs> Okay, so he goes Rotom here. 
ideally I would have liked to get the get the poison on him, but yeah, of course. This is still damage on him, so I'll take it. Um Hydro Pup could definitely be a play. I'm actually gonna go into my Serp. I don't think Serp is too necessary this game. If he clicks Trick, um that's puts me in a position where I can actually start Leaf Storming. Because I'm also a choice card from this. Now we just leave Storm. Even if Weezing comes in, um, I can just go sec my Mian Chao, Which I don't definitely don't need against Weezing. And once Weezing is gone, he doesn't really threaten my class quite too much. But I'm just going to leave Storm here. Skarmory comes in. And of course. <laughs> Uh, you already know this. Um, that would—that's an annoying miss. So yeah, nothing, nothing we can do about it. So I'm just gonna go into Glasgow again. We know his wheezing is taunt. Uh, his wheezing is protect. I'm not sure if he's gonna roar me. Um, he's going for his last layer, which is fine. Like I said, wheezing is in earthquake range, so uh, we're just gonna click taunt here. At this point, I can just click Earthquake. If for some reason he wants to go Weezing. Okay, you, you, you can you can click. Ah, that's how it is, huh? That's how it is, okay. I'll play your game. I'll play your game. I'll play your game. I don't die to Weezing anyway. Because I now I know he doesn't have any attack, so... can literally go into my scarf here <laughs> and start roar spamming, I think. But it's counter Skarmory. Still though, uh, once I kill, once I kill Weezing, I can literally, um, I just need to kill Weezing. Then I can literally stall his team with Glyscore, like PP stall his team. So that's what we're going, that's what we're going to go off. wonder if he has Taunt. He doesn't have Taunt, okay. Okay, so he's gonna be low. Oh, that's the one we needed. Cool. And he doesn't have leftovers anyway. Does my Brave Bird kill him? If it does, then that's awesome. Squeezing. Twenty-one. Twenty-six. I still think we make the Brave Bird play. It's a roll. That we do kill, so now my Gliscor wins. I literally taunt spam the, the Skarmory, and the moment he's out of out of out of counters, which I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure counter counter has 32 PP, and taunt has 32 PP, so so that one won't, won't really make a difference. I can still keep this man though. And um yeah, like I said guys. Superior is literally useless against him, but I'd still be cool actually to have him. Let me make the Mian Shop play at this point. He didn't get a max hazard actually against me. He has two layers. So I actually will heal a bit back. <clears throat> but yeah, that Rodom is on a timer. Chance he cannot wish pass. I knock off Jellicent. <coughs> the Skarmory makes his return.
when close combat there. Not sure if he is gonna spike or if he's gonna roost. It roars me out. If and if it's not, if it's superior hidden power of fire, if it's Weavile, I destroy him too. And it's Wingman. Yep. And good luck with this, bro. Taunt you. Going to your Rotom to take one more Stealth Rock hit. Flyscore will literally beat your team. <laughs> like, that's such a bad stall team. There's no Wink on there. All he has is six walls. Six walls. See how he... Because this is why we have a Weavile. That's why I have something that's fast in a stall team. If I use a stall team. That's why I have a wink on on the stall team. <laughs> but all he does is get up hazards and try to roar spam, but you do you do need stuff to trap and, st and such. So he hydros, we already know his choice scarf, so I literally go jealous in there. And I think I'm just gonna taunt because Hydro Pump doesn't do it kill me. No, he misses Hydro as well. Because he's locked. We already know he's choice carved. <clears throat> Chance he comes in. I'm not sure if it's Curse Body. Jealous. That would make more sense if it's Curse Body. Now I can literally go into my Skarm and my opponent decides to forfeit with his stall team. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it, boys. That's how you do it. Destroy some newbie stalls. <laughs> so, uh, almost at 700 with this account. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, I, th I think my account is still ranked 10. <laughs> Even though I haven't played in it, on it for a while. But yeah, yeah. Welcome everyone to the end of the video. As you guys have seen in this video, uh, this team completely <laughs> demolishes those uh, the stall teams, uh, especially those ones that are stacking hazards. It's like Gliscor with Daunt, Jellison with Daunt. That way, Chance and Blissey don't get to wish past anything, and <laughs> Skarmory doesn't get to do anything. And that way, uh, if you get rid of their other ground immunity, uh, then uh, Gliscor just beats the team just, be just because. Um, it forces the the Skarmory to Grave Bird, and yeah, it doesn't get any recovery otherwise. So. <laughs> Pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a bit of a longer one because we faced quite a few stall teams, and yeah, fortunately right now that's most things you face these days. <clears throat> but yeah, regardless, I still hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions, and it helps for the algorithm as well. And if you are interested in the team that I'm using, you can check it out on Patreon. There's a poker paste with all the information on the team and a team building video on this team. And you can also check out my Patreon for team building support to help so I can help you build your own teams. And of course, uh, you can join our PvP courses in which you get one on one coaching with me uh, to help you become a solid PvP player. Yeah, that's it for today. Oh, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.